Okay, we're back with video two here. We got some pretty good content. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, like I said, please like, share, subscribe. Um, sit back, enjoy it. Let me know what you think about it. And we'll see you in a little bit. All right, so we got it all cut out. I'm gonna go around and uh, scrape the front side. It, it scrapes off pretty easy. And then we'll flip it around and clean up the back side. Usually you gotta hit it with a little Rolox or chip a little bit off of the hammer and a, and a chisel or whatever. And then we'll clean the edges up a little bit. And uh, we gotta put the angle iron on the back. I gotta pre-drill it first for the, for the mounting for the lights. And then uh, once we get the, uh, the holes drilled and the angle pre-cut, we'll weld it on there. And we're pretty much done from there. I'll, uh, I'll show you pretty much all the steps. I won't take you through the whole thing. That way it'd be kind of boring, but uh, basically on this, we'll just, uh, you just take it and just clean it off. The, the front's real easy, like I said. Really nothing to it. He's gonna keep it uh, metal also. He wants it to get like, uh, like a little rust to it. And I think once it gets to that, he's gonna throw a little clear on it. I think that'll give it a pretty cool look. All right, I'm gonna finish scraping this up and then uh, when I get to cleaning the back side, I'll bring you guys back in. We'll do it with a little Rolox and whatever we're gonna need there. Be back shortly. I'm gonna take this, uh, it's a little uh, chamfering tool. Um, I got it, it's a pretty cool little tool. But I'm gonna take it and go around these edges on both sides, and then I'm gonna clean it up with the Rolox a little bit, and then I'll give you guys a little close up of what it looks like. That uh, edges, makes the edges real nice and smooth, so. It's a pretty loud tool. Let me just let you kind of hear it real quick. I'm gonna probably cut it off to do it because it's super loud. But let me just do a little bit here. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of loud, but let me bring that in. Once I hit it with the uh, Rolox, I'll let you guys see it too, but give you an idea what it's gonna look like. Hopefully you can see that edge. Nice little chamfered edge on it. That way it's smooth, it looks good. They can't, nobody can cut their you know, fingers on it when they're hanging it and when it's sitting on the wall and they walk up by it, it'll look good, so. Just a little extra touch I'm gonna put on it. But I'm gonna do that real quick, off camera, just so you guys ain't got your ears all blowed out. And then I'll bring you back in. Okay, we lost audio here, sorry about that. But we're getting ready to cut it on the saw here all the pieces we need, and then we'll take it over to the mill and pre-drill all the holes for the lighting.
Okay, I got the angle set up in the middle here. I'm gonna pre-drill some holes. That way he can mount his lights. I got the marks all laid out. Let me zero this out. I got to cut my breaker on. All right. Things are noisy when you first start them up. Okay, here we're gonna go around here. I'm gonna show you where we notched out around the words here, just so the light will go through. And then uh, we'll go around and put maybe, I don't know, two inch welds, like three across the bottom, three across the top, a few across the side, just on the inside. This angle is not for like strength or anything. It's just there for the lighting so the front will be held to the wall for the structural part of it so rather than that we'll get those on there here and then we'll uh, get to the outside I'm going to do the corners too so we can smooth those out a little bit
All right, here's what we're going to do, the corners here. I'm going to weld them up just where they joined, and then we'll hit them with the uh, Rolex, uh, probably 24 grit, 36 grit, and then just clean them up so they're smooth and rounded, you know, like the rest of the edges are in the front. So just there's nothing sharp, you know, nothing you can snag on or rip your hand on or anything. Just clean them up, and that way you can't see where the, you know, the metal met either, so. Okay, here's the sign all welded up, finished up. Got all the corners nice and cleaned up here. Um, probably just go around and chamfer up these little mounting holes for the lights and, you know, wipe it down a little bit, clean it up, make sure there's no burrs or nothing to catch on. And then uh, it'll be ready to go. Okay, there's the finished product. Looks pretty cool with that angle all the way around it. Makes it look like a, you know, a thick sign once it's up against the building. Especially when it's lit up, that ought to look real nice. Like I said, that was my first, you know, big sign like that. Four foot by five foot. It's kind of hard to see, you know, the, all the uh, the lettering until it's up against a solid you know I'd say it's going to probably be lighter so it comes through better you know the background will be lighter color but once that's one color you know what I mean it'll it'll come through real nice but I'm happy I'm happy with it turned out good real good And I learned something on the way, you know, how to use the machine a little different. Pretty cool. There's kind of some lighter backgroundage, but it's reverse letters now, but you get the point anyways. But I'll, uh, I'm going to try to get a, uh, edit it into some other video or something. I don't know, maybe back into this one when he gets it up on his building and everything. Just kind of like a follow-up thing there. Okay, thanks again everybody for watching these videos here. Um, we got some pretty cool stuff coming up. I got a pretty big project coming up, hopefully. I'm working on it with, with a guy. Um, we're gonna do that uh, device build with the, um, uh, the, the vice stand for the welding table here real soon. And some other cool things there I'm working on. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted. I'm going to do a follow-up on that, on the sign here when the guy gets, uh, he gets it on the building, when he gets all of his light hooked up to it and gets it on the building. I'll go by and get some content a day, and then I'll go by and get some content at night so we can see it, you know, glowing with the light on and stuff. So I don't know if I'll just make a quick video on that or try to edit it on the, on the second one. I don't even know if I can do that, uh, if I can go back in and do that on, on the YouTube videos. I think you probably can, but... Um, I'll post that and we'll get that out there here soon once he gets it. I really appreciate you guys, you know, watching. I really, really do. Um, hopefully we see you on the next ones. You know, I'd like to see all the comments. Um, and we'll try to keep this thing going. It's encouraging to hear from you guys. It really is. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.